The five funniest anime ever made. At number five is a slapstick comedy, The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. I quickly fell in love with this ridiculous anime. It's hilariously stupid and just the perfect show if you're in need for a mood boost. This series follows the disastrous life of Psyche K, a high school student who's gifted, or should I say burdened, with grand psychic abilities. However, Psyche cares not for these abilities and only wishes to live an ordinary and stress-free life. Things do not go accordingly for Psyche as his classmates are a bunch of f***ing weirdos. Correction, lovable weirdos. Thus, resulting in shenanigans. Do not be put off by the unusual character designs and subpar animations. These all add to the charm that is Psyche K. The real draw to this anime is the characters and superb comedic writing. You won't be disappointed. Number four is Kono Suba, God's blessing on this wonderful world. If you can't get enough of the isekai genre and want some comedy, check out Kono Suba. This series starts off with a young high schooler dying a shitty death. He's confronted by a sassy blue goddess who gives him the option to go to heaven or, you know the deal. He's transported to a fantasy world, tasked with a mission of defeating the demon king and reluctantly slash forcefully joining him is the bitchy blue goddess. With a solid cast of quirky characters, fantastic animation and bright visuals, this series is a joy to watch. The main character is very likeable and the banter between the cast is for me the highlight of the series. And number three, I had to put this anime somewhere on this list and that is Gintama. I feel like most people have at least checked out this series by now and it is most definitely an anime comedy classic. Gintama is hilarious especially if you watch a lot of other shonen anime. The plot of Gintama is pretty damn bizarre but I'll try my best to explain. Set in Edo, Japan, but this time there's aliens. The invaders ban the use of the samurai sword, therefore fading out the samurai era. Except for the main character Gintoki, a shonen jump reading, wooden sword wielding, odd job doing samurai. He's accompanied by a cast of hilarious characters as they take any job that comes their way. Doing so, they get themselves into all sorts of shenanigans. The plot does come second to the comedy in this series, which isn't a bad thing at all. And at number two is Mob Psycho 100, created by the comedic genius One. Mob Psycho 100 is brilliant and not just because it's hilarious. The story is great, the animation is amazing, the characters are the best, however the art is super divisive. Personally, I love the art, but hey, I get it, some people just have bad taste. The art is perfection in Mob Psycho. This series follows Mob, a young kid with powerful psychic abilities. He has difficulty controlling these powers when he gets to an emotional boiling point. Mob seeks out a mentor and meets the brilliant Konanis Reagan, who claims to be a great psychic, thus leading to a beautiful partnership and Reagan making some cash money. I love seeing the character development in Mob and Reagan is a fantastic character, especially in season two. A super charming laugh out loud anime that might even make you shed a tear. I know I didn't. As you all know, I don't cry. Honorable mentions before number one. Kaguya-sama, Beelzebub, One Punch Man, The Devil is a Part-Timer, Apparently Grand Blue is Lit, and GTO. At number one, one of the most underrated anime, Hina Matsuri. My favorite anime of 2018. Every other one can go f*** itself. Once again, this series follows the story of a young girl with supernatural powers. She is left in the care of a Yakuza member, and they form an unlikely bond. As he uses her powers to f*** up other Yakuza members, and she uses him for Salmon Row. The moments between the two main characters are hilarious to watch. The premise of this show is very unique, and sets up so many comedic situations. The animation is also surprisingly good, as there are quite a lot of action sequences. A 12 episode series that probably won't even get a season 2, but maybe if you go and watch it, there'll still be hope. That's the comedy list. Let me know if I've missed any of your favourites. I hope I did.